Hubble's stunning black hole discovery. The stars surrounding our galaxy's supermassive black hole are what you're looking at currently. The initial indication that the gigantic object at the Milky Way center is a black hole came from these S stars. Astronomers rely on indirect methods to establish the presence of black holes because not even light can escape their gravitational pull. As a result, we have just been able to identify stellar mass black holes in binary systems by examining gravitational wave signals or the electromagnetic radiation they release when devouring their companion stars. But according to researchers, our galaxy may contain a hundred million black holes roving among the stars. The issue is that until now, we haven't been able to find a single free-floating black hole in the Milky Way. But after six years of careful monitoring, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, for the first time ever, has measured the exact mass of the fictitious object and offered direct proof that a single black hole is traveling via interstellar space. The most crucial question is why this is so important for physics and astronomy. How far away from us is this rogue black hole? How did Hubble get at this fascinating discovery then? Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Before we proceed with this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly click on the notification bell to get updates on our exciting content. When a star finally reaches the end of its life and is more enormous than 2.7 to 3 times the mass of the Sun, gravity drives the star to collapse on itself, putting all of the star's mass into the core. After that, the star bursts into a supernova because the core is under such intense pressure. The remnants of the star's core are either neutron stars or, if the star is large enough, black holes. The black hole could get a kick and whiz via our galaxy like a botched cannonball since the self-detonation is not exactly symmetrical. Even if we're unable to directly witness the free-floating black hole, we can still detect it. Starlight from anything that briefly lines up directly behind a black hole is deflected and amplified by the black hole's warping of space. Albert Einstein employed his general theory of relativity to predict this occurrence in 1936, and it is known as gravitational microlensing. Exoplanet detection is its principal application. Additionally, the Milky Way has so far been the site of more than 30,000 microlensing occurrences. Millions of stars in the viscous star fields around the Milky Way's central bulge are being monitored by ground-based and space observatories which watch for a dramatic spike in brightness when a large object passes through their foreground. And one of the most useful tools for the job is the Hubble Space Telescope. Back in 2011, astronomers became aware of this microlensing occurrence. As the black hole passed by, the star became brighter before dimming back to its regular brightness. But how can we be unquestionably sure that the object in the foreground was a black hole and not a compact rogue star? There are two momentous things to contemplate on. The first is that the black hole's powerful gravity substantially lengthens the microlensing time. For instance, the course of this microlensing event was roughly 270 days. The light from the background and foreground stars would briefly merge if the transitory item were a compact star, which would also result in a transient hue change in the starlight as measured. However, the black hole event did not exhibit any color shift. The amount by which the black hole's picture was deflected by the background star was also measured by Hubble. The star's image was roughly a milli arc second far off from the space it would ordinarily be. According to NASA, that is the same as gauging a quarter cent coin's diameter as seen from the New York City, but in LA. The black hole's distance, mass, and velocity were determined using this astrometric microlensing technique. Hubble data were utilized by two teams to reach significantly different conclusions. Kailash Sahu from Baltimore Space Telescope Science Institute, Maryland, is one of the leaders. Furthermore, the second was created by Casey Lamb of the University of California, Berkeley. The black hole weighs about seven solar masses, according to Sahu's team. Lamb's team reports an item with a somewhat lower mass range, which suggests that it might either be a black hole or a neutron star. According to their calculations, the unseen compact object has a mass that ranges from 1.6 to 4.4 times that of the Sun. The item would be a black hole at the high end of this range and a neutron star at the low end. According to Berkeley team member Jessica Liu, even though we would like to claim that it is unquestionably a black hole, all permissible solutions must be reported. This includes black holes with lower masses and perhaps even neutron stars. 
whatever it is, it has been identified as the first dark stellar remnant to be seen roving through the galaxy alone. Due to a reasonably bright star nearby the lensed star, the observations were challenging. The team compared it to measuring a firefly's minute movement near a bright light bulb. To correctly quantify the deflection of the faint source, they had to painstakingly remove the light from the neighboring bright star. At 100,000 miles per hour, or 160,000 kilometers per hour, the black hole is moving across the galaxy. That is quicker than the majority of the other nearby stars in that part of the galaxy. It is found in the Carina Sagittarius spiral arm of our galaxy, around 5,000 light years away. The discovery has also allowed astronomers to calculate that the distance between Earth and the closest isolated stellar mask black hole may be just 80 light years. That is almost 20 times further than Proxima Centauri, the Sun's nearest star neighbor. Locating these renegade black holes is like looking for a needle in a haystack, but finding them will provide us fresh insights into the population of these unusual objects in our galaxy. Only one out of every few hundred microlensing occurrences, according to astronomers, is brought on by a solitary black hole. But thousands of microlensing events will be found by NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, among which many are anticipated to be black holes. The deflections will also be measured with extremely high accuracy. An infrared telescope currently under construction, the Roman Space Telescope will launch no later than May 2027. There will undoubtedly be some fascinating astronomical discoveries soon. What would you observe with the Hubble Space Telescope if you had a day to control it? Let us know your observations and thoughts in the comment section below. If this video was insightful for you, then go on and like the video. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button for more of our updates.